Greetings and salutations, how's everybody doing today? So today we're looking at a film that was the first film starring Brendan Fraser. Hey, don't forget to check out the film The Whale. I'm sorry. You say you're sorry one more time, I will shove a knife right into you, I swear to God. Go ahead, what's it gonna do? My internal organs are two feet in at least. <laughs> I'm not sponsored, and we're not sponsored by them, but that would be awesome. Um, but yeah, today's film is the first film starring Brendan Fraser, and as well as having their turning turning of Polly Shore, and we also have um, who was it? He 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 played for, he played uh Sam and um and the Lord of the Rings. Sorry, I can't remember his name at the top of my head. But let's go ahead and talk about Encino Man. Greetings and salutations. How's everybody doing? So today, we're looking at the film Encino Man. So what's this film about? Well, the plot involves two geeky teenagers from Encino, California, Los Angeles, California, who discover a caveman and uh their in their backyard frozen a solid block of ice where he has where he has learned to live in the twentieth century while teaching the teenager while te while teaching the teenagers about life. I'm gonna be honest, at, fr at first I was gonna say like ugh because when I first when I started watching it I was like okay but then at first when I saw that Polly sure was Polly Shore was in this film, I thought, uh... Flame Edge! Oh, he is so greasy! Mostly because I thought, is it gonna be written to be, um, just to be annoying? But then, I realized as the film went on, by the way, uh, keep in mind, uh, Polly Shore's not even the main character, he's like, say, like one of the like one of the best the best friend to Sean Aston, who's actually the leading character. Um, I gotta say that Polly Shore he does a good job. Honestly, he's entertaining. Just don't even we figure we's a little juice. No, we think that juice. Go. Everybody in this film is actually pretty entertaining. So yeah, they find a uh, caveman Brendan Fraser in a block of ice, and. Then they basically say, let's use, let's, like, use this ability to become popular. And, um, oh, yeah, like, say, Sean Aston has the hots, and then, like, Sean Aston, uh, Sean, da Sean Aston's character Dave has the hots for, like, say, love interest Robin, who basically just was, like, say, who basically is dating the cliche jock who basically has kind of a uh, low self-esteem. Because, because you know how when, like, like, uh, high school-based films, there's always the high school jock, and whenever, like, say, the main kid goes, like, say, hi, um, like, you know, girl I like, then he goes, like, say, are you talking about girl, bro? Are you talking about girl, bro? That, uh, that always happens in a lot of teenage, um, like, you know, comedy films, and I gotta say, oh. 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 What are you doing? You're not allowed in here. <laughs> but I do like it this film uh, that in this film the um jock boyfriend character uh, in this case Matt he is the uh, guy playing him uh, Michael the Lewis he is playing it so over the top that it is entertaining ah! it's a juice hey you want a piece of me there's at one point where they're on um, an ice rink, and he basically just slaps um, Link, and I gotta say, I don't know you. I don't like you. As of now, I'm all over you. And like there, yeah, like there's like like it's so weird because he's just like say, anybody else want some? 
Heck, I get to a stunt in this film, which I think is kind of hilarious. Like, where it is involving, um, Driver's Ed? And... Zack Science. Oh, Full on the wheel! Here comes Fresh Nerds. Weez in the juice. Ow! Uh, Link gets in the car and Vinny, like... Like, they end up driving the car on the side. Like, with this way, and... <laughs> I'm gonna say... Honestly, there's a lot of entertaining moments, like, say, the fact that, that like, uh, Link and, um, also Stony, all go to a club, I guess, and then, um, there's a moment where, like, once, fancy, I guess, like, say, you talking to my lady, and then, in Spanish, I believe, he, uh, Link goes, like, say, the cheese has gone sour, and then basically, and then he goes like, say, you right, bro, you right, I need to get a new girl. <laughs> honestly, I'm giving this film a lot more credit, but it's, honestly, it's fairly kind of entertaining. It's silly, but it's entertaining, honestly. I do have to say, like, say, like, when, like, like the uh, truth is real, they say, hey, Link is actually a uh, like a caveman, and everyone goes like, say, yeah, he's like, what, no, no, you're not supposed to be cheap, what, no, and I gotta say that, uh, Brendan Fraser did a pretty good job in this film as well, but then again, he, his, he got written as, like, say, a shot of water kind of character, and it works, I mean, heck, even Sean Astin as Dave, or David, he does a pretty good job, as, like, just the guy who is wanting to get with a girl, and he just wants people that, like, you know, like him, I guess, and he does a really good job. I think everyone in this film does a good job. Honestly, I feel like I misjudged the film. I think this film is honestly entertaining. That's just how I feel. What are your thoughts on it? Well, thank you for watching. Most, if you did, if you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and as always, don't forget to keep your popcorn warm, your drinks ice cold, and don't forget to keep your eyes on the screen. I shall most definitely be seeing you next time. See you later.